Uh, I haven't been here in a while. Totally didn't come into the chat because of lighting. You need to stay an extra day. <laughs> <laughs> you need um, an extra week? Your stream needs a lot of help. Yeah, true, it does. Hey, hey, hey anything <laughs> I can get. Just kidding. Anything I can get. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, top 100 games. People wanted me to look at this. Um, I wonder what my opinion of this list is going to be because I think... Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of games here that like I haven't played, but I like know about or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, right? Um, Borderlands is good. I like that. Borderlands too. I have I played Borderlands, Borderlands, but not all the way through. Yeah, me neither. IGN usually has bad takes. Well, then let's find out <laughs> how bad their takes are. Divinity Original Sin 2. This game, uh, McConnell keeps wanting me to play Divinity Original Sin 2, and a lot of people say that this is like one of the best of, uh, like one of the, the best ARPGs. The best D and D experience you can get from. Interesting. Yeah, it's the best RPG of all time. Interesting. It's turn based, not ARPG. Oh my bad, my bad. How is Final Fantasy VII ninety eight? Final Fantasy VII is a landmark JRPG for a variety of reasons, but many of its achievements have now been lost to the winds of time and technological progress. That's not the point. Yeah. Yet its age has done nothing to change the status of the series' most popular and beloved entry, which has come about thanks to its wide cast of detailed, emotionally driven characters that journey through one of the most memorable worlds to emerge from Japan's development scene. The pacing of it continues, continually of its continually, continually <laughs> timely tale is its master stroke. What is the sentence? Who wrote this? The pacing of its continually timely tale is its master stroke. Square allows you to slowly fall for its ragtag bunch of eco-terrorists before introducing its main villain, forever chilling Sephiroth, and then focusing the story on much of its on much more personal stakes despite the looming apocalypse. While overall the story is heavy, the world thrives on its idiosyncrasies, a variety of bizarre enemies, comedic minigames, absurdly sized swords. It's this combination of light and dark that makes Final Fantasy VII such an enduring classic. How the hell do you put probably one of the best games of all yeah. time at 98? This is the reality of it. Graphics in games, when, when you're talking about how good games are, mm -hmm. graphics don't really matter. What matters is the art style. What matters is is the way that the game, the, like the medium in which the, the game is presented to you, right? The, the game is like a canvas to tell a story, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if this game is from 1997, like you can't really say, oh, it has bad graphics. It's like, bro, this game was on PlayStation 1, yeah. right? Like that, that doesn't make the game any less good, right? It's about the story. It's about the gameplay. It's yeah. about the uh the rpg elements building your character like the materia system and leveling up your characters and getting the limit breaks like the actual gameplay and the combat of the game <clears throat> is fantastic it's it's turn-based it's super fun mm -hmm. um what it, what is the system called like atb system or whatever it it is so unbelievably good the stories in that game are so good first off you have one big main story and then you have a bunch of different like um uh, like there's like a billion subplots throughout that game. They're like little mini stories or like there's a story between this person and that person, that person, this person. And throughout the entire game when you're going through the world, you kind of unlock all this lore and this backstory behind every single character, which makes almost every single character super relatable and it makes the player basically fall in love with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And this is like a lot of people's favorite game of all time. Like a yeah, lot like of I don't know people. How I don't know how it's 98. This is just like, this is bad. Yeah. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for worst gaming articles, starting at number 10, the IGN Masterstroke Top 100 Video Games of All Time article. True. Uh, uh, Assassin's over, Creed 4. I love Assassin's Creed games. But how is this better than Final Fantasy 7? Well, Assassin's, I don't know. To me, I think Assassin's Creed games are really good. But wasn't I Black really Flag like not even like the, the like, wasn't no. Black Flag considered worse than, like, was it three or two that was really, really yeah, good? Yeah, I mean, it's probably further down on the list. Or is four probably. the best one? Oh, Fla Black Flag was the best one? I don't think oh, it was, was the, best, the best one. Yeah, it wasn't two the best one, Flag? but it was good. I, 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 I never, I never play played it, through but... an Assassin's Creed game. Like, I, I yeah. played it, like, randomly, like, at a friend's yeah. house, but I never, like, played through it. Yeah. Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. <laughs> what? What is that? Monkey Island 2. Dude, this is so hard for me to like take this list seriously. Like I've heard this is a great game, but it's like, is it really better than Final Fantasy VII? You're overrating Final Fantasy by a lot. No shot, dude. 
Okay, you're gonna say Burnout Three is better than than Monkey <laughs> Island Two and Final Fantasy Seven and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Fallout Two. I heard Fallout Two was was a really really good game, but I never played it. League of Legends ninety three, Mega Man three, Mega Man three took every lesson that Capcom learned from Mega Man two, expanded, refined, remixed it. Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is the new one that just came out. Mm -hmm. This was a this yeah. was actually an insanely good game. That was such a good game. This was this was I surprisingly really like good. As somebody who I uh, I, I feel watched like that it, should I be higher it. on the list. It's so good. I watched it. I didn't play you didn't it. Play it. I wish I played it. We should play Animal Crossing together. I I wish I had played this, <sighs> but but I did not. I feel like League of Legends is like one of the best games ever. Well, maybe it's one of the most successful games ever. I feel like I know Dota is really what made MOBAs a thing, but yeah. League of Legends is what like t took MOBAs and and shot it into the stratosphere. I mean, it's the same thing with EverQuest and WoW. Like there were <laughs> successful and and good doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. Uh, Thief Two: The Metal Age. I I didn't play this. Oh, I don't no. have a. a the Thief Two. I've never heard of it. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. They took everything right about stealth games and added a dash of steampunk infused magic. I like steampunk games. Yeah, Fallout is steampunk, right? No, not Fallout. Oh, no, Bioshock. It's Bioshock. Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock, Bioshock is, is steampunk. I like yeah, Bioshock. Yeah. Uh, Sim City 2000. Oh, dude, I I remember. I love Sim City. My friend's older brother and sisters would always play Sim City. Whenever I was a kid, they had a computer. Yeah. I didn't have a computer yet, I think. And we would always go to my friend's house, and they had a computer. And the the older brother and sister that they were like in high school, middle school, they would always play Sim City, and I yeah. thought it was the craziest thing in the world. Like I thought it was insane. But Sim City eventually spun off into what what's like The Sims, right? Yeah. Like, and, and The yeah. Sims ended up being the big thing. I love conversations when you're playing The Sims because you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I, I added a new addition to the house today, and I need to feed the baby." But like <laughs> you're just like, like having these life. conversations about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, inside, I don't know what inside is. Mechanical abandon of a Mario game in the worldview of Werner Herzog. I don't know what that is either. See, this is what I'm saying. Like a lot of times there's like five people that played a game and they're like, oh, this game was incredible. Yeah. And then there's like billions of people that play another game and they're like, that game sucks because they all played it and they quit. Indie games tend to get more positive. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like, it, it's like the underdog effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Titanfall 2. Um, I've heard Titanfall is good, but I, I didn't, uh, I didn't play it a whole I, lot. I played Titanfall. That was good. Yeah. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Pretty. Amazing. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was incredible. Okay. So good. I was so excited when they remade to the, the Tony Hawk games recently. Yeah. They made Tony Hawk 1. They did Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remake. It was the best remake, remaster, whatever of any game that I've ever seen ever. Yeah. It was so good. Whenever I play, I do like the claw grip mm -hmm. and I put a lot of torque on my pointer finger. Yeah. So I'm like, boom, boom, <laughs> grind, boom, grind. What happened is I inflamed one of my oh joints. My God. And I'm not joking, my joint, like it was, it's still like, I think it's, it's like, if I try and pop my knuckle, it hurt for like a year straight. And even now, I think my knuckle for was bigger. For a year straight? Yes. I, I did permanent damage to my corner finger from, from freaking hit, hitting the freaking nose grind. It was hitting sick. Hitting the freaking nose grind. It was so sick, dude. I was bad at it. Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter is okay. I played it. I didn't play it. Uh, I played it a little bit. I did a, I did a sponsored stream for it. I didn't really like it that much. There's some things about Monster Hunter that are cool, but. Yeah. Resident Evil 2 Remake was mm -hmm. amazing. No. No. Uh, this is so good. Did you play this? Yeah. No, I just don't like oh, scary just, games. This this game was so. <laughs> this this game was perfect, yeah. in so many ways. Because yeah. I used to not play scary games at all. Yeah. I didn't like scary movies. I didn't I like don't. scary games. I. But the problem is, nope. is I like viewers and <laughs> and stream <laughs> and really viewers likes. like scary games. <laughs> and, That's true. And the viewers really like whenever I am playing scary games because I am a pussy. System Shock 2, I don't know what this is. Mortal Kombat 11? Mortal Kombat is good. I don't remember if it was Mortal Kombat 2 or 3 that really was like, boom, Mortal Kombat was the thing. Yeah, yeah. People say Persona 5, I should really play Persona 5. And I've never played that. Yeah, Dark Souls. The most boring thing to know about Dark Souls is difficulty, why? Because it's ties from focusing on all things that makes it the most influential game of the last decade. Actually, hey, good take. Because because a lot of times people always say, oh, Dark Souls is so hard. But the thing is, it's not about Dark Souls being hard. The The level design of Dark Souls is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. The the way that you level up your character, the gameplay, the combat. The, there's so many things that are so good about Dark Souls. The mechanics of how you do it. So good, man. Fortnite number 79. Um, 
So Fortnite, there's a lot of reasons that a lot of people don't like Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, myself included. Mm -hmm. Fortnite is a good game, especially yeah. once they got rid of building. Uh, but there's a lot of reasons to not like Fortnite. Like there's people yeah. that don't like the art style. There's people that don't like. Uh, just, just ever, there's a lot of stuff that you could not like about Fortnite. Fable, Fable two. Fable two. I love Fable. Fable two we haven't played yet. So good. But Fable one was amazing, and everybody yeah. says that Fable two is even better. Goldeneye 007. Goldeneye was really good when it came out. If you go back and play Goldeneye now, uh, it's actually ass. I've never played it. I've never seen it being played. Goldeneye, uh, I'm being honest, chat. If you go back and play Goldeneye now, it's literally unplayable. Mm -hmm. It's it's so ass. T to its credit, this kind of like set the standard for FPS games. But now okay. FPS games have gotten so good. Yeah. Yeah, FPS games have just gotten so good. Super Smash Ultimate. Um, I hate Super Smash. What was Smash Ultimate? Smash Ultimate, was that... Uh, uh, Switch. I'll be honest, I think Smash is one of the best fighting games of all time, and I think it's funny because, like, Smash is, is one of those games that is, um, it was like a party game made to, like, you know, you, it's a fighting game made for parties, is what yeah. it was, and then it ended up getting so advanced, right? It ended up getting so advanced and, and mechanically, like, it, it's, I, I think it's one of the best games ever. I, I do agree that this, this should be on the list. Yeah. Dota 2. Uh -huh. A lot of people like Dota 2. There's people that say Dota is better than League. League is better than Dota. Uh, I, I think Dota 2, something that's bad about Dota is the barrier of entry is much higher than League. Mm -hmm. um, I'm too intimidated to even try playing Dota. Well, it's like adding stuff like turn rate or denying creeps. Like these are like cool mechanics, but it's almost too much. Yeah. That you cannot have an honest intellectual discussion about League of Legends versus Dota 2. I'm convinced. I, I don't think it's possible. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game has actually insane mechanics. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. game actually has me insane it's mechanics. It's really addicting. Yeah, um, but it's like, it's so many mechanics that again, a lot like Smash, it's gotten too sweaty because it has too many mechanics that like, mm -hmm. this was a party game and now it's like competitive. Yeah. And it makes it not fun sometimes. Donkey really Kong, my favorite game. Well, so, Donkey Kong Country or no? That's not Donkey Kong Country. That's I think, arcade. I think it's Donkey Kong Arcade. Yeah, no, I don't. Not the arcade. I like Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country is amazing. I don't know about Donkey Kong yeah. Arcade. The Sims Three is better than Final Fantasy Seven, guys. No, The Sims Three is really good. Sims Three yeah. is really good. A lot of people like Sims Three more than they like Sims Four because what happened was The Sims Four came out and it basically like took away a bunch of stuff that Sims Three already had like built in. Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory. I haven't played mm -hmm. this, but but I know it's good. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I, I, You know what's funny? I think I never beat this, but I played it as a kid. It's so good. Really? I never yeah. played Yoshi's the Island. The Super Mario World games are so good. Yeah. Silent Hill 2. Yes. I played, this is one of my favorite games I've ever played on stream. I played this on Hollow's Eve and Hollow's End. Hollow's Eve and I played Hollow's it on no, no, Halloween Day and then the next day. Mm -hmm. Two streams. Silent Hill 2 was amazing. The Pyramid Head and, and the way the game Oh, that's plays. where Pyramid Head came from? Yes. Oh. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I think that this game, in a lot of ways, is the best GTA. Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, this is the best GTA. I think if Vice City was longer, the problem with Vice City was it was too short. San Andreas, you can argue that maybe it's a little bit too long. But I think in a lot of ways is the best one. XCOM 2. XCOM is really good. This is another turn-based game. But man, like, mm, wait, wait, hold on. It. Is this XCOM 2 like the new XCOM? I never played the new one. The original one was cool. Mods for XCOM 2 go hard. Maybe I should play it. Original XCOM was like kind of sick. It was like a, it was like a turn-based StarCraft is the best way I could explain it. Control. I don't know what Control is. Call of Duty 4 mm. Modern Warf Warfare. I think that was my favorite Call of Duty, actually. I Wasn't, wasn't I, Modern Warfare 2 better? Oh, yeah. Wait, which Zombies? When did Zombies uh, come out? Uh, it was the one after Modern Warfare 2, I think. Oh, no, maybe it was Modern Warfare 2. Okay, because whichever one the Zombies came out in, that, I think was, that was, was my Ops. favorite. Okay. Yeah, Black Ops was the one after. Yeah, it was Black Ops. Okay. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Can I that, play this that's, one? That, that's the new one, isn't it? The newer one? I think I that didn't one was play good. this one. I didn't finish it, but it was good from what I played of it. I really liked it. Batman Arkham City. I, I liked all the new Batman games. Yeah. I think all the... Dude, when these games came out, these were like on top of the world. 
But I think Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, I, I liked all the new Batman games. They were so good. Uncharted 2, I uh, I have not played Uncharted 2, oh, but I've, I've heard it's amazing. Game. I've heard both yeah. Uncharted games are really good. Overwatch at number 56. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish, but Overwatch is one of the greatest games of all time. I think Overwatch is really cool. I I'm just not like good it. at it. I actually think Overwatch is cool. <laughs> I don't think Overwatch is better than League of Legends. I don't think Overwatch is better than a lot of the games above it. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy VII, but I think Overwatch is a good game. Overwatch revolutionized Apex. video game porn. Very good. <laughs> That's actually true. Um, <laughs> Apex Legends, better than Overwatch. Uh, Apex is really good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, Apex is really good. I personally don't like it better than Overwatch, but I can see why it would be considered better than Overwatch. Yeah, a Apex is really good. Hollow Knight, I've heard Hollow Knight is absolutely amazing. I feel like the the, the Metroidvania type games kind of had a, uh, a little bit of a resurgence lately, and a lot of it is because of Hollow Knight. What is Metro Metroidvania? Well, they, they call it that because of Castlevania and like Metroid. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's so like, it's like, like the uh, it's games like this, like... like where you run around, and you just like a, it's like a it's like a. Oh, I, I guess it's like a platformer, but it's kind of not. It is. <gasps> that that's such a good game. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, the Ori. Yeah, Ori in the Blind that Forest. One. That was good. Yeah, it's like that side scrolling, so 2D exploring. That's okay. Kinda like a good way of putting okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I like Ori. Miss Pac Man. Good. I never played Miss Pac Man. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I did. But why is Miss Pac-Man 53? I played Miss Pac-Man <laughs> on an emulator. Uh, CS 1.6. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 was really popular because it was... Uh, I mean, Left 4 Dead 1 was really popular, but then Left 4 Dead 2 came out and... and I just remember Left 4 Dead 1 kind of died. Left 4 Dead 1 is better, really? I remember everybody talking about Left 4 Dead 2. It's a great party game, yeah. I'm surprised CS 1.6 is, is 52. Because Counter Strike, I feel like Counter Strike is like the game. Mm -hmm. Like there's still people that play 1.6. Not that many because CS Go came out and it kind of replaced 1.6. Yeah, I've only played Go. Like I feel like this is the standard. This is the standard for Valorant. This is the standard for CS Go. Mm -hmm. Counter Strike 1.6 is is the standard. Diablo 2. Diablo 2. I I didn't get to finish it. I only played the very beginning of it. It was really fun. I only played Diablo 3. Diablo 2 but is But they're all very good. similar, right? They're like kind the of. same. They're like very, very similar games. Uh, StarCraft 48, absolutely. StarCraft is absolutely incredible. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually like StarCraft more than I liked WarCraft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like StarCraft more than I like WarCraft. Uh, World of WarCraft at 47. Um, I would say this is probably a pretty good spot. I feel on the like it should be here. higher. Like, it's such an intricate, like, yeah, it's but, such a good game. It's such a massive game. I mean this this game Almost was like, like a massive multiplayer so WoW was like a, literally a, a, this was an international phenomenon yeah. like like three four years after it came out like whenever it was like Burning Crusade and going into Wrath of Lich King like yeah. WoW was absolutely insane the higher level dungeon or is demand teamwork but with its stellar looking for group system it's stellar looking for group dude, system dude why does IGN so <laughs> suck why do they, like why are they so dumb it's stellar okay I think it's in the right place. Star Wars Knights hey, of the Republic. Let's talk about it. This game but I just is mean to talk about the Star Wars games. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Kotor 1 is one of the best games I've ever played. I think it's on the same level of Final Fantasy 7. I think it's that good. Fallout New Vegas, Final Fantasy 6. Ooh, everybody says Final Fantasy 6 is is really good. Uh Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, the original Pokemon games were sick. All of them were sick. Metroid Prime, I played it a little bit. It was super cool whenever it came out for the GameCube. I didn't have a GameCube, so I didn't I didn't like play through it. I played it at a friend's house. Skyrim was very good. Um, like Skyrim. very successful, but I didn't play it. No. Nope. I didn't play any of the Elder Scrolls, but Skyrim was very successful. Resident Evil 4, I haven't played this one. Everybody says it's the best Resident Evil. Shadow of the Colossus, tons of people tell me I need to play this game. Uh The Last oh, of Us 2. I love puzzle games. I didn't play Last of Us 2, but I played Last of Us 1. Wasn't Last of was Us really 1? Good. Yeah, I, th I thought 1 was really good and 2 was ass. Isn't that what people were saying? I, never, I didn't oh, play. I don't know what people heard said about the second one, but 1 was good. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Oh, dude. Red Dead Redemption? I actually haven't played Red Dead Redemption. Really? But I haven't played the whole thing, but I played bits and pieces People of it. say it's really good. Have you played Red Dead Revolver? No. The first Red Dead game, Red Dead Revolver, is so 
fun. Mm. Uh, Sid yeah, Meier's Civilization 4. I've played Civ 3 a fair amount. All my sinuses are gigafptatm and for we reason it hurts my eyes looking at this right now, Bible thumb. Oh, enable dark <laughs> mode? Oh, that actually is good. Yeah, good call. Zelda Ocarina of Time 34, amazing game. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, one of the best games ever. I don't know about 34, but it's, it's ama absolutely amazing. All three of like, in my opinion, my three favorite games ever are now already, are already there. All my favorite games are yeah. on the list. Minecraft 33. I think Minecraft Tell is Tell me you haven't spent hours and hours and hours and hours on like pie. drained I, I in Minecraft. Not, you haven't? I think it's overrated. I think Minecraft is good, but it's overrated. Halo, I think, I think Halo is, this is another like generational like hit. Yeah. Like this, yeah, Halo, not only was Halo amazing, I would say if there was one thing that made the Xbox a success as a console, was this game. The fact that this was an Xbox exclusive. Exclusive, yeah. It made it, it this literally made the entire console. Yeah. It was that good. Half-Life, I didn't play Half-Life 1. Uh, I, I wanna play it someday. Like maybe I'll play like Black I've Mesa or something. It. But Half-Life 2 is amazing. It doesn't surprise me that Half-Life is high on this list because everybody tells me that Half-Life 1 uh, is also very, very, very good. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 is at 30. I think 14 is very good. I don't think I would put 14 better than these games. Yeah. Yeah. Doom. Doom changed my life. Wow. Uh, yeah, Doom is another like genre defining game. Yeah. God of War, God of War amazing. Yeah, God oh, Half-Life Alex amazing. Ha Dude, Half-Life Alex was so incredibly good. Like this is this is the game that got me really interested in VR. Mm. Yeah. Did I skip 27, 28? Oh, I did. Uh, yeah. Tetris. I mean, Tetris is just like a timeless game. Yeah. Right? Uh, Metal Gear Solid Three. So that's the one I said everybody said I should play Metal Gear Solid. Get Metal Gear yeah. Solid Three earlier. Yeah. Sweet so. Eater. Chrono Trigger is one that I still need to play. A lot of people say this right here. Widely regarded as the greatest RPG of all time. A lot of people mm. say that. Uh, I will play Chrono Trigger at some point. The greatest RPG of all time. Wow. Uh, Portal. Portal is incredibly fun, and mm -hmm. the crazy thing about Portal is this was like a fun mini game that they threw into the orange box. Really? Yeah, they, Portal was like not like a, a big, big like AAA release. It was like wow, Half it's like one 2, of the most popular games. Too. What was it? What was it, Orange Box? Half Life Two, Team Fortress, and Portal. That's another good uh, soundtrack too, huh? Uh, Street Fighter Two. Street Fighter, when, I think whenever people think of Street Fighter, they think of Street Fighter 2. This is like the Street Fighter that people think of, is is this this one. This cover, yeah. Chun-Li kicking, yeah. yeah. Like this is the one when people think of Street Fighter 2. Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, like the original, yeah, mm -hmm. of course, 21. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they have 64 on this list. 64 should probably be super high. Undertale, I have never played. Undertale is a crazy soundtrack. Okay. Undertale never, has a crazy I've soundtrack. I've never played it. Bloodborne is sick. I've barely played it, and I will play this at some point. I promise. I promise. I, dude, there's so many of these games that I haven't played. But Bloodborne, I, I will. I promise to play this game. Bioshock is another one That's that cool. I played this at a friend's house. But I bought all the Bioshock games because I never really played through them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here's Last of Us One is way mm -hmm. higher. Uh, Witcher Three. Everybody sure. says that I would love The Witcher Three. Yeah, it's a good game. But it's really long, and I haven't played it. I probably won't play this one just because it's so long. I feel like the lore behind The Witcher games is really cool. Mm -hmm. It's really appealing to me. Halo Two. Halo Two just took what Halo did and just cranked it up. Like it was even better. Uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Which one is this one? Oh, Ninety Six. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is this is the game that made like like there's a bunch of games now. Oh, that looks familiar. There's a ton of games now being made based on like. Basically, this this was like a genre-defining game. Yeah. 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 And like like Hollow Knight was basically like kind of based off of this. Hades. I never played Hades, but so many people said Hades is amazing. So many people have said Hades is amazing. And GTA Five. I think that GTA San Andreas is better than Five in some ways, but the mm -hmm. thing that makes GTA Five better, I think, is everything outside of the game, like. The, the ability to mod the game and, and going into 5M and GTA RP, GTA Online, all that stuff that came out of 5, I, mm. I would say makes it better. I think it's probably San Andreas, Vice City 5, and then GTA 4 is the order. Super Mario Bros. 3, this, I think this was like the big time Super Mario game. Mm -hmm. Not even the first one or, or like any of the stuff that was before it. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm younger. 
But <laughs> this is the game that I think made Mario what it was. Yeah, this three game was good. Leading into Mario 64. Disco Elysium, I never played this. Everybody says this game's amazing. Okay, we're at the top 10 now. Oh, there's Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 is absolutely incredible. Uh, so I got Half-Life 2 whenever it came out. Um, this is whenever I got Steam and everything else. Mm -hmm. You haven't played Half-Life 2, you said? No. This mm -hmm. game is like, it's like you live in like a post-apocalyptic. I, I, I actually played this on stream again, like three years ago. I like this post-apocalyptic. It's it's so themes. cool. I think that's a really cool theme. Yeah, and they had like a gravity gun, and I, I would be willing yeah. to play this again. Like that's how much I like this game. Red Dead Redemption, like I said earlier, I haven't played Red Dead Redemption, but I played Red Dead Revolver, and Red Dead Revolver was so good. Mm -hmm. But Red Dead Revolver was way different. Red so, Dead Redemption was like a GTA version of the game. Red Dead Revolver was like, had levels. Okay. Super Mario 64, number seven. Okay. Yeah. I would put this game up there. This, because the Super Mario 64. I think that might, that might be my favorite one. I'm not sure. Well, I think this, this is kind of like what Halo did for the Xbox. Super Mario 64 did this for like the N64. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's so much different gameplay that comes out of this. Cause when you first play Mario 64, the controls feel like kind of janky. Because, like, oh, you have the stick and the controller is weird yeah. and all that. Yeah. But then now that people play, have played it so much, they figured out, like, so many different ways to manipulate how your character moves that it's actually, like, a super, super high skill game. And it's, yeah. it's just fun. It's just I great. definitely don't play it at a high skill level. Yeah, well. <laughs> Mass Effect 2, the Mass Effect games. I feel like in high school it was, like, Mass Effect and Bioshock were, like, the two big, mm -hmm. two big games. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. I'm, I had a bunch of friends that played these, but I, I didn't play them. Super Metroid. So so Metroid, Metroidvania. That's an old game, yeah. Yeah, this is like oh, Metroid yeah, and, and Castlevania. Castlevania, yeah, yeah. Okay. So so that's what people call these games, like the Metroidvania games. Yeah. Again, big time. Zelda: A Link to the Past, number four. Okay, I would. I mean, I love Link to the Past, but I don't think it's number better than four? Ocarina of Time. What's the one that people keep telling me to play? Breath oh, of the, the new Wild? one is Breath of the Wild. Yeah. People keep Breath telling me Wild I should play Breath of the so Wild. so good. Yeah, I think I think this this so game is good. amazing, but I don't think it's better than Ocarina of Time. Portal Two is here. Okay, Portal Two at number three. Super Mario World number two. Super Mario World is very good. Yeah. But I don't know if I would put it at number two. Yeah, number two, like of all time. Yeah, this is saying all time best video like games. Number yeah. one is Among Us. No, I'm just kidding. No way. Oh, Breath Legend of the, of the Wild. Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Okay. All right. Breath of the Wild is number one. Really I good. haven't played this. Everybody keeps telling me I should play Breath of the Wild. It is good. It's a good game. But I love those little puzzle games. Man, I think this list is ass. Yeah. There's so many things that I'm just like, how how do you? I think it's also incredibly difficult to rate every single game of all time. Yeah. But there's so many different categories. Yeah, because so it's like, what are you rating rate them it as? On? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I feel like you yeah, need to have like a bad. ratings like a one to ten of like six categories and like really look at it. I think this list is ass chat. Uh, there, there's so many of these things here, like like Portal. Like I mean, I, I don't know, man. Just putting like these are all good games, right? But it's just yeah. like you go as high up as 98, Final Fantasy VII is like, bro, come on. There's, it just blows my mind, man. This blow, this absolutely blows my mind.